Hey guys and girls and everybody. So this is Henukel and Koch and I will present you with the latest and also the releasing review of my base. I uh, don't get me wrong it is not finished but um, I had a lot of requests from people that I should release it as a beta version already so um, they can have all my weapons in one ASP for the loading thing and uh, <coughs> in one place so that you can buy it from a vendor and stuff so even if it is not uh, finished <coughs> I think I can release it as a shell mode which will be upgraded every week when you arrive uh, here at uh, Red Rock Canyon you will activate a map marker which will help you to get back here anytime after that and uh, to buy weapons and stuff and it will be only one ASP I was thinking to make it uh, BSA and uh, an ASP but uh, that uh, won't work uh, because uh, I intend to add uh, more content almost every week to it. Uh, well, I'm gonna explain it to you very simple now uh, what it has. It has a very realistic uh, look, I hope you agree. It has guards, it has uh, guard posts, guard towers, a lot of uh, modeling and texturing went into it until now and it is still I think one third of what I am intending to do I completely revamped uh, Red Rock Canyon this is the welcome sign uh, you people uh, could see it uh, in my earlier um, reviews you will have a uh, newly made custom posters which uh, will warn you about uh, your behavior on the base you will have freebies if you are not a uh, good uh, dude you will have free toe tags and body bags <laughs> what these posters mean in a nutshell is if you try to pull a fast one you will be shot dead if you come in the base to buy uh, weapons and ammunition and talk to people everything will be just fine because of recent events and uh, disappearance of uh, Tobias Henukel's wife Eva von Reinhardt as a tribute to her the base was named after her it is uh, first Henukel and Koch base camp Eva von Reinhardt you can see it here you will be able to find out more about her uh, inside the trading post from the food vendor and uh, the weapon vendor I'm gonna split this uh, review in uh, three or if, uh, if I have to in four because this HS of program over Wolf keeps crashing the game and I can't find the right settings so it does not so in the first part I'm gonna show you the outsides and then I'm gonna try to show you the interiors as you can see flags have been added uh, luminous signs you will not be able to access for now the research and development center and the medical center <coughs> because they are still under construction 
but I don't think that it bothers uh, ninety percent of you because uh, that ninety percent is after the weapons. You will have limited uh, dialogue with the uh, guards for now, but uh, dialogue will be added. As you can see, they have uh, the new Cobra Elite uh, heavy armor, the sniper uh, snipers, and uh, the other guarding personnel has the guard and patrol uh, uniforms which will be available uh, so you can buy them from uh, Kurt Wagner as you can see custom uh, textures and the logo on the helmet of the Cobra Elite Forces and uh, the Guard and Patrol units have a different uh, combat helmet and uh, armor Bye. they each of them uh, have uh, different facial features and names a lot of uh, catwalks and uh, stairs have been added so you can access uh, every point of the base very easy uh, here you can see the quad the fat man uh, artillery piece which is manned by uh, Mr. Lothar Grims here uh, who has a secondary weapon the MP40 with folded stock you will be able to buy this one too from the trading post Oh, we have a uh, Jeremy Olmer with the MG42 as a support uh, gunner to the artillery personnel ammunition for them you will not be able to access these these are uh, just to simulate uh, reality okay then uh, we have the guard tower completely retextured with personnel not retextured with personnel but retextured and with personnel Linda Schwarzmüller she's a Cobra Elite sniper and uh, she is here to overview the whole valley and uh, alert um, the other guarding personnel and um, everyone in the base together with the other snipers they are equipped with uh, the latest and the best weapons she for example has the STG-45 Falcon Auge the Hawk Eye Eagle Eye which is also equipped with night vision scope all the snipers in the towers are equipped with uh, sniper rifles that have night vision all the snipers uh, Cobra Elite uh, snipers all over the base are equipped with uh, the latest in weaponry and uh, they all have uh, night vision I'm not gonna go on that tower too because you have seen seen the other one so let's try to get to the end of the okay sorry these are the liberators and they are uh, replacing the old buses that you have seen in my uh, other reviews they have been just uh, released and arrived here they look a bit uh, 
bit beaten up but uh, don't let uh, that fool you they are fully operational and uh, very powerful uh, support weapons uh, armored personal carriers and they carry the weapon shipments also as you can see they are uh, they have a lot of tags on them and uh, the logo and uh, I try to make it uh, to look as real as I could in short time but as I said this is just a um, demo or part one of the mode a lot of content will be added to it you will be able to have dialogue with each and every NPC guard except the dogs because even if it was a atomic war the dogs still didn't learn to talk <laughs> to people so <coughs> we will try now to get in the back this is a new addition a new building this is the apartment building where the scientists their families and the families of the soldiers are living these are the barracks we will go in they are accessible this is the factory entrance the factory is subterranean and uh, somebody shoot that parrot anyway this is uh, Mr. Henukel's house and here we have the liberator number four there are uh, for now four uh, armored uh, buses support vehicles mechanized units whatever on the base more are on the assembly line and will be ready when uh, Operation Hannibal at Portas will begin that is uh, the operation to eliminate Caesar and each and every legion member and that's because they are responsible for Eva von Einhardt's death and Tobias Henukel is not uh, somebody who lets vermin to mess with him and his family and uh, by family I mean wife, children <coughs> and everybody on this base and everybody who is member of the Henukel and Koch big family which means every everybody that was in World 44 where from they all came out here in this uh, in this tower we have a mixed personnel so that is more clear that uh, we are allies with the great guns now I even tried to give them uh, genuine uh, Mongol names hey. so here half of the personnel is uh, great guns so that there are no discussions that uh, we are uh, keeping them under surveillance this bus is not because of that here this bus is for other uh, crooks and rascals if they somehow miraculously manage to come around and come in the base from behind then here is their welcome wagon that will la run over their face and uh, let's get back to the rest so now we are approaching the apartment buildings 
This is the communications center. At each of his entrance is a security camera so that the personnel inside uh, knows always who is uh, outside the doors if they are ringing. And uh, here on the apartment building which is also fortified heavily we have um, artillery personnel uh, machine gunners to support them and a special woman a special lady lieutenant commander Batlinda Kerrigan she took over operations and uh, <coughs> the leadership of the Cobra Elite unit and also the newly formed uh, female uh, special forces unit the Valkyries this is their logo this is their uniform and uh, <coughs> later on we will have the only male branch of uh, the Hanukkah and Koch Special Forces. They will be called the Werewolves and uh, they will have their own uh, specially designed and customized uniforms. And this is Betlinda Kerrigan. You will be able to have a dialogue with her too and she will give you some information but uh, you will find that out she is not voiced because uh, I don't have uh, anyone uh, around yet to voice a female character but uh, I will fix that too <laughs> Uh, and I will have a little time and uh, here this side of the Red Rock Canyon was completely revamped and uh, I hope I can uh, push in some uh, other buildings oh yeah the armory of the Great Khans is situated here for people who want to still buy the old merchandise, the in-game merchandise. Just look at these uh, light uh, beams. They really look nice. Ah, you should not do that. that uh, I just wanted to get here faster. So, as you can see, everything starts to work and look as I would like to so thank you for watching and uh, I will be back with you shortly in the second episode of this review where I'm gonna present you with the interiors of the tra <coughs> trading post the home center and the barracks. Thank you for watching. Henu Kalanko out. Hi everybody and welcome back to the second part of uh, my review about my uh, first Henu Kalanko base. Uh, first when you enter in the trading post you will uh, find yourself in the cafeteria where you will be able to talk to Amanda Smith, she's the food vendor and uh, she will uh, give you some uh, more information about what is going on on the base right now. And then you will have here Kurt Wagner, which is uh, in the company of two Cobra Elite gu uh, guards. So if you misbehave, you will be shot dead. And uh, Kurt uh, Wagner is uh, fully voiced, 
not lip synced yet but uh, the following weeks I will do that too hey, hey you are back as you can see take care uh, he talks and uh, you will not be able to buy these two newly developed uh, prototypes of sniper uh, rifles because they will be tied uh, to quests together with the trench gun uh, that hey. you will not be able to buy uh, right now either but patience people and uh, <coughs> please bear with me because uh, I'm gonna have to learn uh, how to make the quests and I want to give you a special game experience on uh, my weapons that uh, will uh, come up now so I hope that I uh, will learn uh, very fast how to make a quest as I did with the rest of the gag and uh, why because nobody is willing to help and uh, that's it that's all about it um, more uh, personnel will be here in the canteen talking and uh, eating and you will be able to talk to them too and uh, have a dialogue so this is it uh, about the trading post and uh, <coughs> i uh, meet you very soon in the third uh, part of this uh, review thank you for watching and uh, see you soon So, welcome back people to the third part of uh, <coughs> the review. We're gonna try the impossible and uh, to get in uh <coughs> after I started this POS Overwolf. And we are in. This is the comm center where you will find two nice ladies working. Yannike Karshen and uh, Lena Steilitz they uh, take readings from the consoles beside them and uh, forward it to the HQ through the computer those two monitors will show the outside of the two doors because uh, security cameras are installed <coughs> above uh, each of the entrances so this is the lower level of the comm center and uh, we will try to access the weather station even if we know that it will crash not yet and here it is Werner Mayer who took uh, readings from the weather consoles and now forwarding the weather report to the HQ So this is the third part, I uh, presented you with the interiors of the communications uh, building which has the big big parabola antenna on it that takes feed from that uh, high, uh, highly posted radio tower and uh, this is it now we are approaching the barracks but uh, I'm sure that you have seen the barracks in my uh, earlier uh, presentations but uh, well that was the third episode and uh, Thank you for watching and I hope you will enjoy the the mode and uh, don't despair people who expected more because more is on the way I'm just doing it all alone and uh, that takes time so I cannot take care of everything because I want to give you a special experience and uh, takes time to develop uh, new custom posters, uh, new textures, to 
to make the new armors I'm intending and after that I'm gonna get to and the retexture all my earlier weapons too so they will have a better look and uh, more details on them uh, because I know right now they are not perfect but they will be <coughs> and uh, please check back every week to see because uh, updates will be waiting for you to make your game experience uh, more special so thank you that you took the time to watch this presentation and uh, maybe you will take the time to download and try out this new mode of mine and i hope it will be hopeful uh, helpful sorry helpful for those who were requesting it for so long time to have one uh, asp and all the weapons together in one mode so this should be it thank you for watching and you can out